another video and today I wanted to talk to all of you about my favorite thing to include in my decorations at the start of the year, which is a word wall. This is something that um, I started to build my first year and it's gotten better and better um, every year since then. And as I've kind of transitioned from history to um, elementary, I still have a soft spot for my history word wall. So I wanted to show you what I like to do for my- So this is an example of my word wall. And what I like to do is for each letter of the alphabet, I like to have it start with something that represents the US or US history. So for example, A is apple pie. B is baseball, C is capitalism, D is the Declaration of Independence, E is an eagle, and so on and so forth. And what I like to do with each is for these sheets, I like to actually put um, black construction paper on the back and to laminate it. And I normally have this printed out in color so it's visually appealing, it looks really neat. And as we go on, um, in the year and as we learn new terms, I like to add it to the word wall. So I'll, I'll have both um, academic, um, general academic terms as well as history specific ter terms. So for example, um, some terms that I would have at the beginning of the year to, to kind of introduce students to might be like audience. And so um, once we have the term, I'll normally, and I know I can, I would normally actually um, staple this uh, into the wall to make it a lot easier. I've noticed that when I used to use thumbtacks that students would um, take the thumbtacks out and they would play with it and or it would somehow end up on the floor. So I don't normally use thumbtacks for this but um, at home right now I don't have a stapler to use so I'm going to um, use a thumbtack for right now. And thumbtacks kind of are hard to work with at least for me. Um, so I would have um, words that begin with the letter A and generally what I like to do is throughout a lesson and as I'm teaching, if I'm referring to a word, I like to go back to my word wall and to reference it. Um, or like analyze. So a word wall is a great display to have in the classroom. It's great for admin when they walk in because it shows that um, the teacher, so you and students are constantly learning vocabulary, referencing it, and we're really building that um, a strong foundation in vocabulary and especially in kind of the content specific areas.